The way that we diagnose ACL tears in dogs involves a couple modalities. Uh, for example, uh, palpation is what we usually start with. So during clinical examination, we'll actually palpate the joint for instability. That instability is often referred to as cranial drawer or anterior drawer, and some patients will have that. But the majority of dogs that tear their ACL actually won't have drawer because there'll be some different version, some different level of tear, not fully torn, and they, their, their knee will still be stable even though they may be very, very lame. Uh, and in chronic tears, they develop so much fibrosis and scar tissue around the joint that we don't feel cranial drawer as well. So that is one of the things we do, but that's not a, a, a real accurate way to diagnose ACL tears. We look for joint swelling on palpation, and that helps us to increase our level of, of suspicion that an animal does have an ACL tear. We often use radiography, x-rays, and it's very helpful uh, in a tentative diagnosis of an ACL tear. There are certain changes that we look for uh, on an x-ray that increase our suspicion. Ultimately, the gold standard for diagnosing an ACL tear in a human and in dogs is arthroscopy. And so all animals that, that uh, are suspect for an ACL tear should, the first thing we should do is an arthroscopic exam. And we do that at the onset of surgery. So they're under a general anesthetic, they're in the operating room, but we start with an arthroscopic exam to be 100% sure of the diagnosis before we proceed with the surgery. And the arthroscopy kind of looks like this, where the scope is inserted through a small opening in the skin, and we can evaluate everything within the joint, the ACL, the PCL, the meniscus, very accurately with an arthroscopic exam. So that's the definitive diagnosis uh, is made with the arthroscopic exam.